13 films in a building. Yeah, you are not tuned in to Channel 25. We rapping the shot hard at 11 o'clock. Turn to Channel 25. If you rapping, you hot. What you waiting for? Want to get heard and shine? Call a number like, let me get on Urban Grind. We rapping the shot hard at 11 o'clock. Turn to Channel 25. If you rapping, you hot. What you waiting for? Want to get heard and shine? Call a number like, let me get on Urban Grind. I should be on TV, what? I really be spitting yeah. Ain't trying to say they ain't, but I really be tipping I really be popping bottles that they can't afford He told me, hold on a sec, talent I can't ignore no. Send a mix down and master email All right. Subject to find a booth, we sell what? Video, studio time, the beats knocking yeah. Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, keep watching Gotcha, this the place to be parting can't get it cheaper than this flea market. Tell them tune in, Chicago's on deck. I'ma get on that. You can get on that. We rapping the shot hard at 11 o'clock. Turn the channel 25. If you rapping, you hot. What you waiting for? Wanna get heard and shine? Call a number like, let me get on Urban Grind. We rapping the shot hard at 11 o'clock. Turn the channel 25. If you rapping, you hot. What you waiting for? Wanna get heard? Let me get on Urban it's your boy Extra the Young Eagle. We outside the fly store in the heart of the east side, High Park, 55th Street. You know what it is. Dave Jeff, EPMD, my man Eric Sermon in the building. We're going to step in the premises and see what it is. Let's go. But it is UGTV. We back live and direct in the fly store in the heart of the east side, High Park. You know what I'm talking about? With the man himself, Dave Jeff. We said we still south side here. We still south side. We, we south side by the lake. That's what it is. Well, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, we we gonna uh, agree to disagree on that because I'm an east side and we call. Okay, my bad. Oh, the High Park east side too. East side. Okay. Okay. Right. Because we right on the water. That's right by the lake. Ain't nobody else by the lake. <laughs> what up, Paul? How you? Man, I'm good, brother. I'm good. That I want to. Uh, Find out a little bit more about how this event came to uh, you hold it at your establishment, brother. How did that all? Uh, like Twan Gab, C for that whole thing in my family. Uh, uh, a lot of my people know Eric, you know, through a lot of the stuff that we do in the business or whatever. Uh, with him doing the event tomorrow at Little Black Pearl, just made sense for him to come kind of hang out, you know, saying, you know, bless the presence of the store with everything. You know, we have the uh, New Amsterdam, you know, we did the food, me and my partners, the team and everything. So, you know, just give him a good environment to be in, a, you know, a fly place. You know what? If you go check uh, a couple of months back, you know, when I had a show. Okay. You know Poncho. Yeah, yes, sir. DJ Poncho. Yes, sir. Shout out to Pico. Uh, P, P, what up? Rocking the fly right. shirt. We on the stage, man, GCI family, car and bike show. Family. You know, my man Malcolm. Every time we go do a show, they got uh, some of your fly gear on, brother. I appreciate the love, man. I appreciate the the the, the city. I just say, on on the real side, God is good, man. And and this is just where we where we've been, like to the Lupes in here, the Wale's, the Rick Rosses, the whole nine. I just uh, love, and I like to thank all y'all for supporting the brand and everything that we do, and supporting Day Jeff, that whole thing. You know what I'm saying? No question. The city love you, brother. That's that's that was my whole. Thank you know, you. you know, the city we love you. I love the city. I mean, it's been it's been a long on road man and you know we taking it to other cities and, and, and everything or whatever and I just appreciate that and I'm just gonna always be Chicago always be high park fly, no fly, question fly, you know what I'm saying yes I see you move the store we was, it was the last time I checked on you was over in the you know you did you know big do big things uh got a uh uh, over there, in, in building the brand, I wore a whole bunch of hats. Uh, like now, I got a, uh, you know, my business partner, his name is Spoon or whatever like this. So we put this new thing together just to really kind of expand and maximize on the lifestyle with the fly cuts, the internet bar, the lounge, still do the clothes, all the hot sneakers and everything. So this is just big, bigger business, better business. And so the future business is like a lot of the wholesale for a lot of the relationships that I have through the country uh, on doing the brand. We're going to duplicate the store like in the A, uh, duplicate this like a... Uh, in Tennessee and do things like that and just take it like fly worldwide for real, for real. Yeah, yeah. Brother, gratitude for letting us come down. UGTV, we in the building. The man himself, Dave Jeff. Hey, check that out. Remember to stay fly. You did? We right back at it. At the fly store. Shout out to my man, Dave Jeff. You see the lovely lady sitting next to me. You know who she is, Chicago. It's Tifa. Good. What's good, UGTV? What am? What up, extra? Nothing much, my out here working. You see me? I see it. I like that. I 
I like work equals progress. You, no question, Mama. How you doing tonight? What's going? What you got going on? Why you out here tonight? Working hard. You know, we um definitely played a big role in bringing Eric Sermon and EPMD to Chicago. Just came from a place that um we wanted to see our our hip hop community just grow and move forward and just get better. So this was a you know that was the motivation behind everything. So I think it's gonna be really dope. It's gonna be ill. It is. It is. It is. Once once we start coming together like this, can't nobody stop us. You know what I'm talking about? See, but what what you got coming up in the works? I know you got Dime Diva Radio going on Friday yeah. nights. I don't know if I can plug. Can I plug? Can I plug the station? <laughs> Can I plug this? 92.3, y'all make sure y'all check my girl out, Dime Divas Radio. It's going down. Frankie Robinson, DJ Naina Drake. You tell them a little bit about it, baby. It's, it's so fun. And you know what's ill about Ladies Night is that um, we diversifying the brand. You know, it's not what you usually get when you listen to Power 92. You used to get in the street, hood, rap, you know, um, top 40 records. This is, we really diversifying the classic 90s music, R&B, reggae. Uh, house, soul, hip hop, just stuff that really inspired, you know, music back in the 90s and as well as today. So it's a bit, it's a way broader range of music that'll reach a broader range of people um, that you'll get out of the show. So I'm really excited about that. They kind of took the reins off of us and we get, we not creative control, but we definitely share in it. Um, you know, we do the caught up segment after midnight. <laughs> It get heated. It get heated. Live DNA tests on air. Live DNA tests. Yeah, man. It's wow, boy. <laughs> it's crazy, but it's it's a good time. You know, it's a good adult time. It's not something that you normally get on radio. We just kicking it and having fun. Kind of taking it back. You know, back to the day when when the when the jocks on there really really entertained you. I mean like 106 jams when yeah. jamming day might. When they could entertain. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? Recently, we have kind of been under the. Uh, Control, control time thing, like no longer than 30 seconds. You can't talk, one thought per break, like just different rules like that. But yeah, that people don't know that, you know, are enforced upon us that we don't have those restrictions like we normally would in radio that we, you know, we get to do our thing and be loose and be creative again. So I love Ladies Night. I love my co-host, Frankie is the bomb. Naina Drake is amazing, so diverse. You know, tonight, we got guest star DJ Twilight Tone. Okay, okay. Beastin'. Okay. I mean, that's crazy for the city. Tw uh, Tone, Tone really innovated a lot, you know, in hip hop with Common, you know, and a lot of different artists and just inspired a lot of DJs from Chicago, even Naina Drake, Timbuktu, uh, a lot of different DJs that really are popping and doing their thing. So I'm excited, man. I love it. You jam down tomorrow. You, you, I hear you performing tomorrow at the big EPMD yeah, yeah. concert with Eric Sermon and Twan Gabs. Um, uh, well, okay, we're not even gonna go, with Mr. Gabs. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be crazy. Shout out to um, DJ Bam and Jay Illa hitting the stage with me tomorrow. This is my first time performing in some years. You know, in respect to me performing by myself and not just doing like a feature or something. You know, because I've done features here and there while I was on my little break or hiatus. But this is kind of the introduction to what I got coming this year. I got three projects I'm working on. One is called So F and What. And it's a mixtape, but it's not your average mixtape. Let me tell y'all, Tifa is, if you ain't never heard Tifa rap, you've been laying in a gutter somewhere. Real talk. The queen right here. Hands down. Tifa, Tifa, you, you show so much love. You get so much love. And that's how it's supposed to be in the city. I want to thank you for sitting down UGTV. Anybody you want to shout out or anything else you want to say, sweetie? You know what? I just want to um, follow me on Twitter, at Damn Tifa. It's, it's a riot. <laughs> it's a riot. Um, and uh, just check out Ladies Night. I guarantee you're going to enjoy it. You're going to learn something new about music. You're going to experience some more culture. And just have a good time. And it's super relatable. We ain't on no bougie. We ain't too ghetto. We just kick it. And have fun. If you can get down with that, you can get down with us. Every That's Friday what it night, is. Power 92. No question. You make sure you check my girl out every Friday night on Power 92. Let's go. Already.
yeah. You gotta breathe. Take a breath with every single step and walk every line till the dots are connected. What you know about flows and shows money, it grows like trees of weed. Even when it snows, you gotta breathe in what you see, breathe out what you know. Cops got me in the cell like slick spit, what you know. But shit, I don't know. Got a lot of time to blow, time to go. Go get the money minus hoes Fuck them, it's on I got a brand new song It's called Living Life and Living Long I'm a living bomb Smoking early morning till the dawn New era, not a place Calling all independent artists. Get your game up. Get the Smokey Studios Independent Artist Mixtape Special. Five songs recorded, mixed, and mastered with a free mixtape cover for $500. It's a limited time offer, so call toll free 1 888 380 1913. Extension 1 for more details. This right here is for the lover in Stand out and most of the friends. Worship me. Work is lacking all the end. Worship me. Lisa. Missy. Keisha. Shit and get it to the point so when I came back next year, I wanted to wow that whole room. 
So I'm saying that to say that neither one of us want to be negative here, but at the same time, we're going to have to tell y'all for real that it's not up to par, it's not 100% up to par. One of the problems I have, and I think what me and Eric was talking about, was this like, and he's from New York, so I'm from Chicago, so his statement was like, man, like the South is just taking over everything. Like basically, like why is we having a South sound and joint, you know, in Chicago? Now it's okay to have different styles of things, but I think as, as artists, as new artists coming from a city that's not necessarily a music city, you have to bring something to the table that is unique. Because they don't want, think about it, if they want T.I., they can go get T.I. If they want uh, the Walker, they can go get Walker. You know what I mean? They're looking for something from Chicago that's going to represent Chicago and what we're about, what we listen to, and what we talk about, our lingo, not trapping, not, you know what I mean? Keep it original and keep it, you know, you, you, you got to sell lifestyle now. You got to sell what the lifestyle is around Chicago. Nobody is selling that, really. You know, the ones that sell it, Kanye, Comment, that's that part of lifestyle. You have to sell what we're about here because you can't sell somebody else's lifestyle. So that's just my comment on the record, and I think we just need to keep, you know, come up with our own original styles. You know what I'm saying? Still do those records, but also work on something that's, you know what, this is my own thing, and I know it'll nothing else sound like this, and I'm gonna do this too. Just just challenge yourself as an artist to do that. That's what I say. But what I heard was good, but it was kind of like what I've already heard before. Yeah. We we'll right back at it with the big homie Twan Gabs. You understand Twan Gabs, Shot Town's yeah. own official. I'll let, I'll let the people, man. Let them know what's going on with you, Twan. Man, give me that. Let me get that about you. It's Twan Gabs, the bully in this boy. 95th Easy Music. You know how I do it. Death Squad in the building. Fly Store. <laughs> That is, you know what I'm talking about? You did. Swan, how you feel about the new juncture or the you know the new the new partnership with EU? You know what I'm saying? I know that's gotta be big for you. How you feeling about that right man, now? Man, I feel good, man. Like God is good, life is good, man. Like nothing happens but with his permission. I'm just happy. I'm happy to be here. It's long overdue. And I'm gonna tell y'all something. I'm I'm waiting, anticipating for this man to come out. You know what I'm saying? I'm a fan. I rap, but I'm a fan. You dig? It's all love over here. My man Twan, you know what I'm saying? Tell, tell me what you got going on. Talk to me, Twan. I know you've been busy, man. You stay busy, so tell me what you got coming up, man. Busy, man. Uh, we got a lot of stuff going on right now. For the immediate, we got the EPMD concert popping off with Lil Black Pearl tomorrow. Uh, 10 o'clock, the showtime will start. We got Eric Sermon's mixtape coming out called A Breath of Fresh Air. That'll be out in the next couple weeks. Man, there's so much shit on there. Some of everybody, if you if if you official in the game, you own that motherfucker. I'm on about five or six joints on there. The Bully album, my my album is on is on the way. That'll be out this spring, man. We we just finna start hitting the road, South by Southwest, uh, Puerto Rico, all, all the festivals. Like we finna be out here getting it up, man. We finna bring Death Squad back harder than ever, man. It's it's, it's really finna crack. That's what it is. I, as a as a admirer of hip hop, you know what I'm saying. I want to say thank you, brother, for for blessing me with. I don't even want to say we. It's a long list of joints. We're not even finna run through them all. But this man right here got this bangers. Right here. This nigga right here. This nigga right here. Okay, you know what I'm talking about. It's extra young eagle. Twan Gabs, <laughs> Death Squad official. Check it. Water. It's Twan G in the building. Death Squad affiliate here with UG TB Irving Grind TV. Let's get it.
see me rolling in my cool whip as I double dip. These two chicks is so sick. How do y'all wanna gravitate to my dick? The atmosphere is thin, inhaling these hoes like oxygen. It's a man's world, true, but bitches can play your part as long as it's true. No less getting freaky in the sheets, watching you whispering. I caress my side, cock feet grind all night like rock cocks and hands. Let me lighten the mood, ignite this green leaf. So me and you, and you can reach a level of lustful bliss. Two puffs then pass as I shower over her chest. Uh, and I'm all out to this. A menage a trois, so the French labor the best. Yo, I be tell them the rest. You know we keep it moving over here, Shot town official. We on the east side. Know that I'm from the east side, and this is east side official right here. I'm sitting with my man Marvel. Like, it don't get no greater than this. You know what I'm talking about? EPMD, Eric Sermon, Twan Gabs, and I'm Marvel? Man, it's Shot town official. Marvel, I'll let these people, man, talk. Man, I'm definitely honored to be in the building. You already know M to the AR vote, Supreme Money Makers, the team, Shot town Harvey World. Oh man, crazy. Illinois, Killinois, crazy. You know what I mean? M to the AR vote, like I say, UGTV. We tuned in, man. We live. Reporting live from Fly Worldwide. Headquarters. Fly Headquarters. Shout out to my man Dave Jeff. You already know my man Twan G in the building. Eric Sermon is definitely in the building. Shout out to EPMD. You already know the pioneers of the game. Death Squad, baby. You know what I mean? 2011. You already know, man. We on the ground. I, I'm, you want, you, you know, I don't want to take the show. <laughs> all day, all day. You already know. We we call this an interview, but since I got the microphone, I'm a, I'm a lightweight interview myself, you know what I mean? Right now, we in the studio. You already know. I stay in the lab. We working on the V for Vendetta project. So please be on the lookout for V for Vendetta. It's, it's real vicious right now. You know, that's why I, I fell back off the scene, you know what I'm saying? Get, you know trying to let everybody get they 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 thing in you know what i'm saying and build my shit up at the same time so you know that's what we own man we backstage behind the scenes but you better know the curtain about to come up you know what i mean you already know what it is man into the ar vote man i could talk my shit all day but v for vendetta man that's all i got to say for the next three months v for vendetta it's v for vendetta time you already know remember we dropping that shit M to the AR Vo Shat Town, yeah. Mar, Mar, let me ask you a question before you get out of here, little brother. Now, I was just talking to Twan and I was just talking to Eric and we was talking about Chicago. Right, right, right. Now, me myself. That's the you know the talk that's, of the that's know, the talk. It's that's all the, about Chicago right talk, now. You know? Real talk. I mean y'all saw talk. what we did to Miami, right? Alright, okay. They, they, I, hopefully y'all was paying attention. Anyway, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> But what I'm saying is, like, I feel, I'm going to put the negativity for a side for a second. I feel like the brotherhood is bonding. You know what I'm talking about? I feel like brothers are starting to come together and understand we need to do this together. How you feel? I want, I want to feel your, hear your opinion on this, Mar. I mean, How you feel about it, bro? Shout to uh, LEP, yeah, Slap P, 
You know what I'm saying? Uh, Lupe, everybody who who doing it for the shy. I mean, I do think I think that people are coming together. You know what I'm saying? A little bit more. We we starting to bury the hate a little bit in Chicago, and you know that's always a good thing because you know everybody. The city is labeled for being the city of hate. You know what I'm saying? I think like in 2011, it's about time we change that. Take it back to the '92 Bulls. You know what I'm saying? And man, let's get this championship. That's really where my mind at. And the only way we gonna get this championship is if we play as a team. Even though Michael Jordan was the MVP, he still played with the team. You feel me? If it wasn't for the team, he couldn't have did it by himself. So I just feel like if we come together, stop hating on each other, man, you know what I mean? Big up each other, support each other, we going places. And that's really it. You know, it really come down to that, shy or die. You know what I'm saying? If you from Chicago and you hating on niggas from Chicago, Everything ain't gonna happen to your ass in the words of my nigga Slap Polaroid, you feel me? And that's all I got to say, you know what I'm saying? So, it is what it is, Shot town or die, like I told you before. Eric Sermon, you already know EPMD. Man, my man Twine, my man Dave, you know, we in the building, man. Like I say, Chicago in the house. I love when Chicago in the house represent, man. I'm done with that, you know what I mean? Anything else? <laughs> Oh, that, that, that's it, big homie, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know Thanks for coming by, showing some love, UGTV. What up? It's your boy, M to the ARVO, Supreme Money Makers a Team. You already know, Shot Town, Shot Die, Harvey World. We in the building, man. UGTV, Urban Grind. You already know I'm on the grind, and I'm out here in this urban territory, in the urban terrain. You feel me? We on the grind, we on the move. Like I say, 2011, nigga, Supreme Money Makers. Yeah. <laughs> Question, it's your boy Extra the Young E back again with UGTV. I, you already know who's standing next to me. It's the world famous Matt Bitch. I'm sorry, but you know who it is. It's the kid Sean Mac. Let's go. Talk to him, Sean Mac. Tell him why you what you doing here at the MP at the EPMD concert, brother. Talk to him. That just threw me off a little bit, but it, the body, you know. it was strong. It was strong. Oh, no, I'm kicking it, man. I'm here, you know, EPMD. I'm a DJ, some of the beat battle, and I'm just, you know, like I say, I'm here, man, to support, you know, all of some of the dope, most of the dopest MCs in the shy are going to be here tonight, you know. Marvel. Yeah, yeah. Twan, I'm, I'm, Gabs. Twan Gabs, Mickey Hoss, everybody. Yeah. So it's going to be dope, man, Tifa. Yeah. And like I say, man, it's a blessing to be a part of this kind of movement. It's a blessing to be a part of this brand. It's a blessing to be a part of this, it's a blessing to be a part of this moment. Uh, DJ Sean Max, Shadyville DJs, The Max Show. You know what it is, man. Um, so I'm gonna, like I say, DJ the beat battle. 
and uh, get it popping tonight, man. I'm but I'm just here, like I said, kicking it. You know, I got my supers on. I'm That's chilling right. tonight. Mac, Mac, you stay fresh to death all the time. Me and you was just chopping it up about the bees, brother. Tell everybody about the bees. You know what I'm talking about? Oh man, you know, nah, you know, it's, it's uh, I mean, you know, my, you know, my man John put these joints together for okay. me. You know, like I say, and um, you know, we did, you know, we did the, you know, we 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 we, we a little, we a, we a little, we. A little, we a little, we a little icy at this, but you know, it's, <laughs> but we chilling, man. We know we chilling. Nah, it's all good, man. No, it's, it's, I actually think they're really um, classic. Dope. I, I think they're just dope pieces, man. I, that, that's exactly in, what it is. That's why yeah. I say you stay fresh to death I'm all in, the yeah, time. Yeah, I'm into, you know I'm I'm into the dope jewelry pieces, old school, uh, the uh, gold school watches, gold, yes, 14 karat, everything gold. Yes, you know, the old yes, school. Sir. You know, just everything gold. You know, no question. You know what I'm no saying? Question. But like I say, you know, I'm, a, I, I'm into the fashion shit a lot. But right. you know, yeah, you know. I really just kind of like, you know, when it come down to hip hop, that's what it's solely about, hip hop, you know. But like I say, we out here, man. We fresh to death, and we out here, man. That is part of hip hop, though. When you think about it, brother, being fresh to death is part. We create our own style. You know what I'm talking about? I they, see when when I hear when I see the tweets about you walking down the magnificent mile, and I see you out fresh, brother. I yeah. be like, that's the kid. You know what I'm talking about? That's the kid, yeah. Sean. Man, check out the blog, themagnificentmile.com. Yep. Not spelled with a G. Magnificent spelled with a C. Yep. Um, make sure you check me out, South by Southwest weekend next week. Yep. I just got back from L.A. You know, rip that up. Shout to JL Knights out there, LA rocking with me. Shout to uh, you know, make sure you uh, check me out. Dominican Republic, uh, uh, um, Memorial Day weekend in Puerto Rico. Um, shit, make man, make sure you check out the, in the city. Yeah, oh yeah. No, I mean, no, no. I got, I do, I do so many parties. Yeah, yeah. Just follow me on Twitter, cause I will let you know on my Twitter at the Kid Sean Mac. T H E K I D S E A N M A C. U G T V is the kid Sean Mack. Shadyville DJs, that's me. Swag, what up? Smack! You gotta breathe, take a breath with every single step and walk every line to the dots are connected. What you know about flows and shows money, it grows like trees of weed, even when it snows. You gotta breathe in what you see, breathe out what you know. Cops got me in the cell like slick speed, what you know. But shit, I don't know. Got a lot of time to blow, time to go. Go get the money minus hoes Fuck them, it's on I got a brand new song It's called living life and living long I'm a living bomb Smoking early morning till the dawn New era, not a place All independent artists, get your game up. Get the Smokey Studios Independent Artist Mixtape Special. Five songs, recorded, mixed, and mastered with a free mixtape cover for $500. It's a limited time offer, so call toll-free 1-888-3-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5
380-1913, extension 1 for more details. Poppin' UGTV, you already know who this is. This is I'm extra, and I know you know the man sitting next to me. You know who that is? You know who this is? See, what y'all don't know is I know a couple people who know a couple people who know a couple people. My man Eric Sermon, man, live in Chicago at the Fly Store. Tell them what you're doing out here, bro. Well, t tomorrow I'm doing this, um, a little small seminar where I got producers coming through, playing their production, and um, just giving them like a little insight on what they should be doing and how they should be doing it. Because since the game is so messed up now, kind of, it's about being independent and about, you know, t trying to have your own. So, you know, I'm be doing both things, you know, checking out production, but also giving them insight on how to become independent and, you know, just be self-sufficient, but on their own. Okay, okay. You've been in the game forever. You got any 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 words of advice you can tell people in Chicago? Because, you know, we, we building our community here. We building well, our culture Well, I think here. like last time when I came to Chicago, I was at the shrine. Okay. And I had made a statement about the hatred yeah. in Chi-Town. And, like, for me to be from out of town and know that, it's kind of messed up. Yeah. And people who I meet all the time be like, you know, yo, you know, they hate a lot, you know what I'm saying? So I want to just tell, you know, everybody out here that um, less hatred. It's room for everybody to eat. Right now, everybody's on the same page because nobody's selling no units. So everybody, you know, get to do, get to, you know, make their own mark, too, without having hatred. Everybody can win out here and everybody can eat without hate on the next dude. And plus, like I said before, you want to be able to do what the South is doing. Atlanta sticks together. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? California. So does California. So you know, New York, New York you know. too, too. Exactly. So the shots do the same, though, too. So that's my advice for chi -Town. No question. Then we were just talking. You told me you just came back from Europe. Why don't you tell the people what else you got going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, 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 I was in Europe for, for three weeks, and I was just out there exercising because I was... Right now, hip-hop is at a good place now. You know, you got Raekwon coming, and, uh, you know, uh, you know, hip hop is just again the whole. I can't name a lot though, but like the Wiz Khalifa is the ones who's on the underground making it really, really dope for people to come with some things. I felt like I wanted to make some some music, so um, you know I'll be coming out with a, my first mixtape, which is I, I really don't like calling it mixtape because it's like it sounds so cliche, but it's just some music I want to put out there before my real album comes. Which is ESP, which is coming this summer. No question. Y'all uh, make sure y'all go cop that. Be on the lookout for ESP. You know right, what I'm talking about. And like I said before, I'm I'm so glad that I got a new a new person in my camp. I got a guy um, named Trey in my camp, and I got a new guy from Chicago, which is Twan Gabs. Okay, I no think question. that Twan G been home. around yes, been around for a long time, but when it comes down to intelligence. He, he puts me in the mind frame of like the Nazis or Rock yeah, yeah. and of course the guy like in the two, Jay Electronica, which is you know the content of it. To me, as far as you know, being able to have the rhyme but also tell you something at the same time. So I think like he's been around for a long time, and you know how it is. Again, him being here wasn't gonna get his just due. So I want to let people know like, yo, Home was a good dude, and he's and he's humble too. As, as people yeah. know, to be able to say, when he gets on, he coming back to the hood. No question. And he coming back to give jobs if he can, too. That's he's he, one that, of them dudes. He's a good brother. Right, no doubt. Thank you, sir. Thank you. That was a dope interview, like he always gives. A dope interview, how? Extra, UGTV, Final Level Records, water. Yo, what's up? It's Eric Sermon, the Green Eye Bandit in Chi-Town. UGTV, you know how I do all day. Represent that. You know what time it is. You don't get no uglier. Holla. Peace. So shout out to everybody that came out tonight. Everybody that was a big part of this event. Shout out to Cliff, man. Shout out to Dave Jeff that I hollered at yesterday. And uh, the day. Holla out to EPMD. Uh, shout out to Eric Sermon, man, for being a cool dude. Uh, shout out to uh, who else did I talk to? I talked to Twan Gabs. I talked to Marvo. Shout out to them, man. Shout out to Tifa. Shout out to the kids, Sean Mack. Shout out to Miles Media Marketing again, UGTV. As a matter of fact, hold on, Mal, come here. Talk to these, tell these people something. Shout out to Miles Media.
Hey, what's happening, in Chicago? Listen, you enjoyed a great night of B-roll and interviews and everything. And if you want to check out all of this online, be sure to visit UrbanGrindTV.com and also check out MilesMediaRoom.info. That's MilesMediaRoom.info. I'm Hope Miles, Miles Media and Mark in it. This is Extra. What's hey. poppin'? We out here. I'm finna get out party. I got my drink in my hand. I'm feeling gone. <laughs> but I ain't even on yet, Joe. You know what I'm saying? I'm just on business, Charlie. Out here rotating through these windy city streets, baby. Check it out. Uh. Trips to Tijuana, smoking, smoking with fauna. To eliminate the haters upon us. The n they honor. Introduced her to that Gucci and Prada. Had it way before the bootleggers got it. A sick SS from a Hoopty Impala. These girls love me more than they love their father. Gang tight like a virgin Madonna. Ever since I can't remember, I've been popping my collars. In the Lincoln Continental, in the Red Bull Stata. 16, getting rooms at Ramada. Girls wanna get me like Ivana. Trying to get my green like iguanas. Cause Mr. GOC is just a G on his dollars. Clicking on you pimping imposters. Ain't no need to get hostile. Keep everything iry like you a roster. Ten years from now, they be digging your fossils. From with the king like Mufasa. I got you. I'm in the strip club spending nothing but hundreds. Rocking right past the loud clothes. Reek clothes, reek But drunk then I'm drunk then I'm drunk. I ain't even on yet. Drunk then I'm drunk then I'm drunk. And I ain't even on yet. Yeah, where I go, they say, boy, you know you run it. Cause I'm riding on bows. Got bows in the bundles. But drunk then I'm drunk then I'm drunk. I ain't even on yet. Yeah. Drunk then I'm drunk then I'm And I ain't even on yet. Yeah. All the cold girls be in where we be in. A reach you in your Ethiopian. Smoking them out, provoking them out. They close, they rolling with the G double O. D O, he cold. And this ain't nothing about the work I sold. A few droves, few O's, like a bugle. But you heard shouting, I'm the to know. Keep your mouth closed about me, yes, my Malibu O. School, two tone chrome, smoking on that homegrown. Bed from out west, eyes like Hong Kong. Bed from out south, drinking on that Patron. All I wanna do is get them home and out that thong. Back when my colors were struggling, I confess I was in the baddest. That slickin' just cuffin', hatin' I wasn't, I was doing it the play away As an imaginary player, from tellies on layaway hey. I'm in the strip club, spendin' nothing but hundreds Rockin' right past the loud clothes, reek clothes, reek But drunk, then I'm drunk, then I'm drunk. I ain't even on yet Drunk, then I'm drunk, then I'm drunk. And I ain't even on yet Here where I go, they say, boy, you know you run it Cause I'm ridin' on bows, got bows in the bundles But drunk, then I'm drunk, then I'm drunk. I ain't even on yet Drunk, then I'm drunk and I ain't even known yet All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. And right next to me, I have Elche Ryan Fessmith. How are you doing tonight? I'm, I'm good, Jen. How are you doing? I'm doing good, thank you. So, I like these couches right now. I'm getting comfy. So, I know. let's. It's the most comfortable couch in the world. <laughs> it is, with all these pillows and stuff. Okay, so I'm curious, how has the transition been from music to politics? Have people been walking you with open arms? Is it everything you expected? Or I think it is. <laughs> I got you. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's crazy, you know. Number one, I don't think you transition from music to politics. Mm -hmm. I think music is something that's inside of you okay. that never never leaves, you know. Mm -hmm. But what I have, I think, journeyed through is discovering every golden nugget in my community, discovering all of the good things, and discovering the things that we can make better, you know. We have a high number of unemployment, you know. We have a high rate of foreclosures, high rate of crime, high vacant lots. But in those vacant lots is also a, a, a blank canvas that we can paint. And so I came home to paint. Nice, I like that. Came home to paint. I came so, home to paint. 
I, I was looking into some of your stuff and I completely agree with what Reverend Sharpton said about you giving back to the community and wanting to make a difference. So I'm curious, what event or issue in your life inspired you to want to run top for Alderman in the first place? Well, I live in the community and, you know, when I when I come home and the young people see me and they're like, oh, Ryan Fest, you live, oh, where you live? You live over here? Man, did you fall off? Because only somebody that fell off could want to live in the community that they come from once they are successful in the eyes of young people. And so I'm like, what can I give my community back that's more than a song and a dance? What can I give them back that's more than, man, buy this album and if you don't, I'm living over somewhere else anyway. I could give them back my service. You know, if my block isn't safe or my area isn't safe, is my child safe? You know, I have to take care of not only my son, but I have to be a village member for all of the young girls and boys in that area in order to protect my son. And I think, and I think just providing basic services, keeping the area clean, having programs for young people to go to, making sure that, you know, before a person lose their house, they know the resources that are available. These are the things that protect the community. And I just didn't feel like our community was being respected or protected. And you know, I like that you mentioned the whole thing about your son and protecting your kids and everything. I was looking at your issues and the thing that stuck out to me the most was with what you're going to do with the youth and having those weekly meetings. So can you please elaborate for those who may not know about it? Well, I was just talking about something that I'm even more excited about. I want to do Artist Village. We have so many foreclosures, vacant homes. Why not take one of the big Greystone houses, have an artist village, top floor we got photography, middle floor we have dancing, basement we have a state of the art studio, but combine using those resources with community service. Give me 50 community service hours, you can use the studio for six hours. But before you use the studio, we want you to go through marketing and promotion classes. So when you make this music, you know what you're gonna do with it. You know the direction before you get there. You wanna check out a camera and go take pictures you know, around the neighborhood? Give me 10 community service hours. They have a program, they have a program in my community where young people served uh, 25 hours of community service building bikes. And once you serve 25 hours uh, community service building the bikes, they give you a free bike. And, 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 but when they go there after school, they feed them lunch, they do tutoring with their homework, and then they get to bike building. You know, I love it because I mean, you look around just, whether that's Chicago or any other city, you don't see a lot of stuff like that. And I think that's what the youth need, something to inspire them and just show like, Hard work pays off with everything, and I think that people take a lot of things for granted, and they need to appreciate things more. So I really like what you're doing with that. And, that, and see, something like that, like building the bikes and then getting a free bike, and they help you with your homework and give you lunch. That doesn't need to be just a program at the University of Chicago. That needs to be everywhere in the city. You know, that would really keep a lot of young people out of trouble. But that's what they're looking for: the resources, and that's what I know I can bring. But Let's talk about how that keeps seniors safe. Because between the hours of 3 o'clock and 6 o'clock, when young people are coming home from school, the seniors don't feel safe. People are fighting. Just the day before yesterday, somebody got shot on the bus. You know, and our, 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 our seniors, our elders, who help keep the neighborhood together in their day, are watching it fall apart in our day. We have to take responsibility back. But that also goes with bringing the business people back. Athletes get big, entertainers get big, and they leave the community and they're disconnected. You know, when I got my first record deal with J Records, I was, here, here's a good lawyer for you. Here's a guy that would be a good dentist, a good doctor. And none of those people that were given to me were from my community. So did you stick with your community? And At the time, I didn't. At the time, I didn't because, you know, somebody gave me a check for $400,000. And then they come and they're like, we gave you this check and this is the best doctor. This is the best lawyer. This is the best dentist. You start to believe the person who is paying you. You, you follow that lead. But they're getting their community wealthy and your community is suffering. There are doctors in our neighborhood, lawyers, insurance agents. Why not give it a chance? Because the community gave you a chance when it raised you and gave you to the world. Why not come back and give that same opportunity to your community. That's really exciting. I, 
I agree with all of this. And, you know, of course, this is networking events about the campaign and everything, but I do want to talk a little bit about music stuff yeah, just yeah. because I have so much respect for you oh, for everything yeah, with yeah, music yeah. wise. You know, I actually have a couple of friends that you jumped on their tracks with, you gave them so much advice, and honestly, yeah. you made their day. And oh. um, at Soundscape Studios, yeah, yeah, AJ yeah, Crew yeah, yeah, and yeah, James yeah, Boyd. Yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah. they, I remember them calling, just saying like, "Oh, wait, everyone was just so fascinated and intrigued by everything." And when you, I mean, I interview a lot of artists and encounter many different people, but there's not a lot of them who would take the time to go out of their way to help someone. And that's why I just, I wanted to say that for everyone out there. Also, I'm a lot of respect for you Thank for that. You. So, with that being said, what advice do you have for the future artists of Chicago? Don't depend on others to do what you can do for yourself. <laughs> you know, it doesn't matter if the major radio doesn't play it or if the major TV show doesn't play it. Everything you need to be who you want to be is right around you. You know, I didn't say, man, if Dr. Dre would just produce a song for me. I looked next door to me and it was a guy named Kanye West who nobody knew who was just producing beats. And I was like, man, his tracks are good. Like, I'm gonna stick with this guy. You know what I mean? Like, we're gonna make music. And then, because everything you need is right around you. It, it, You know, I think that our perception of value and what's worth something, I think it's kind of mixed up. You know, value is in community. Value is in neighborhood. It's not in looking at who are, I think that's what yeah. people do a lot. They think that you need to know just that person who's on that higher pedestal than you to make it to their level, but at the same time, everyone started where we all started. Because by it's the like time you get to them, they may be over. Yeah. You know what I mean? You, you're the new thing. You're the fresh thing. And you have to value your ta your own sense of self. Yeah, and on top of that, everyone has their own agenda. So it's like you have your own vision. Like just go for that and go for it. And that's yeah. I agree. And, and, and you know, music. A lot of people asking me, well, you know, you running for alderman. Are you not gonna rap anymore? <laughs> music never stops. You know, but I there's a way that I think I can do music now mm -hmm. to streamline it with literacy, education, community to teach, and and we can make ourselves viable from the inside out instead of from the outside in. This whole thing is just all very inspirational and interesting. Oh, I, I've had, I haven't had an interview like that where we talk about politics and then some, just something outside of music and it's yeah. very But you know, Jen, it's love. Mm -hmm. Everything starts with love. You gotta love doing music. You gotta love where you live. Like I'm not running for Ottoman because I want money or fans. I'm running for Ottoman because I love where I live. You already have fans. Yeah, well, yeah, I had all of that, yeah. and and you know, and, but I'm actually giving a percentage of my salary back to the community. That's so weird. That's the other thing. I was just talking to one of my friends the other day saying how there are so many people who have the power to encourage people and inspire people. So they have all the money in the world, but I just feel like they take advantage of that. And it's like, you should give back because there's so many people who would die to be in your shoes. And it's always, it, your situations could always be worse. And that's how I am. I like to give back and everything. So true power, up. true power. If you really have power, then you can give others power. That's that's what what determines your power is how much you empower others. If you don't if you can't empower anybody else, then you have no power. Your your power is measured by how much you can give. Not how much you can take. I like I like I said, this has all been very I help Kanye write power. Ways. By the way, did you really? Yeah, that, I love that. that was seriously yeah. my theme song for the longest. Yeah, time. I, I helped them like, write that. <laughs> and but but you know but that's what uh, when Kanye and I write, we we write from conversations. So our conversation was what was power, mm -hmm. and that was the answer. Power is the power to empower. Can you think of a song to write about from our conversation we just had now? From our conversation, <laughs> love. Love. You love. I'm going to be looking for that. We'll too. call it RL, Revolutionary Love. I like that. I would yeah. sing, but yeah. <laughs> I can't sing for the life yeah. of me. Well, all right. Well, thank you so much for your time. You, I Jen. really hope you and you deserve it. And oh, yeah. Again, a lot of respect for you and everything. So thanks thank again for much. everything and good luck with everything. Thank you for coming. P H E F E S T, and you know I'm down with the UGTV. That's how we do it. April 5th.
Go vote. Your vote is your voice. This is Ryan Fest. Take it easy. Black and lots of 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 dollars. Man, this GLC, y'all. You know what I'm talking about? Feels so good as we slide through the lane. You know what I'm talking about? Feels so good to have integrity. But all these haters all up in my fences. You know what I'm talking about? Find another sign to gain your alliance, man. Cause I ain't doing nothing but clocking dollars, child. Uh, just honor the passion of a hustler and a classic Straight up, got his straight up to a player, got established Fell for a square, a little better than average Used to go to school and them Reebok gotta have it Till I got my ruler and I bag my work with plastic Paper turn a nigga to a savage, the madness it make me wish I never had it The moment that I get it, man, I swear that I'm the gladdest Move on up the toe pole, gain a little status If I line up all my hoes, it's like a beauty pageant Today I bought another one off 95th and Ashley Man, she took them panties off before I even asked her And I hustle so severely I'm winging so you hear me, caddy sit up like a willy Head spinning, feeling dizzy. I'm back up on my business, clocking dollars till they kill me. Oh. I'm chillin' in the shy, yo Keepin' it P.I. and I be lookin' for a fly Ho, you know me, GLC I'm on it wherever I go I get one in my eye and I be just like do a die, po Pimpin' no, sippin' no Breakin' up the bridge